Hello, yes, this is Dennis from Okaloosa County in Florida. Yes, sir. And uh, been a subscriber for three years now. Uh, have amassed 1,983 leads in Okaloosa County and, and went ahead and got Walton County as well for, for 752. I've had, I feel, a great success with the program over the last couple of years. I'm ready to and I've tried this before. I tried to hire people to make the phone calls for me. Followed, I've already been doing the, the three letters. Um, however, I'm ready to, to uh, hire an ISA uh, from you all. And the question I had, I talked to Toby this morning, and basically my question to everybody would be, how far back should I go? I mean, we're talking, I mean, I've got leads that go back to 2016. If we're going to start these phone calls, is it, a, is it a waste of time to go that far back? So, Dennis, in the three years you've been with us, have you kept track of how many how many deals you've done and how many were listings versus acquisitions and like what what patterns were, have they, you seen and like? Okay, they were all listings, and all I really did, and I I, I, I feel like I, I probably uh, didn't do as nearly as well as I could have, um, and uh, you know I'm gonna I own that. Uh, however, uh, with, with, with 10 transactions in the last year, uh, averaging $7,500 per transaction, it was well, it's well worth it. I just, and I've gotten really good at it. And if, if I go on the appointment, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get the, uh, I'm going to get the, uh, you know, get the listing and they've been, they've been pretty much all listings and, you know, re, re, everything so far has been retail. So, and you know, so 75,000, 75,000 income. And right, what did you spend? What did what did this year? Uh, what did you spend on the leads and marketing? What was your what was your total budget? Do you know ballpark? Uh, about five thousand oh, dollars. Okay, okay. Yeah. Good ROI. five divided by seventy five yeah. is yeah, a pretty no, damn no, good no, ROI. Uh, absolutely. Is that, is that six thousand? Chad, I, is yeah. that six thousand percent? Is that right? Probably. It's, it's pretty yeah. good return. Pretty good. Uh, yeah, yeah. Five I got one the other so day. Dennis, I, I'm, yeah, I'm off the ladder. So you're, got, you're, I've, I've got fifty. I got thirteen thousand uh, pending in commissions just this month. If a fellow called me, got my letters. Says, "Thank goodness you sent me this letter because I've just inherited this property. And I need to sell it." Come on, there's no such thing as come list me calls and probate. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> there it is. That's awesome. So, Dennis, I'm really curious, especially for the folks on the call that are just getting started, like. Well, how long did it take you till you got your first listing, and then how did your momentum build up until now? Like, were you running this pace all along, or did it take you a bit to get up to this pace? Well, well, I didn't see. I didn't start off with a mailbox motivator to begin with. So basically, okay. I'd get the list and I'd start slogging through them. I'm, you know, at the beginning, I'm looking back here at my my list back in 2000, September 2016. You know, and the first thing I got, I got you know 81 leads because I went back a couple months. And, you know, so it's so averaging about 50, uh, 50 a month. And to me, you know, I mean, and I made the calls and I, you know, I have, I had a real estate team for a little while that helped make calls as well. Uh, and we didn't really have a good success because I really wasn't consistent at it. And that's just unfortunately because I, I kind of do a lot of different things at our brokerage. Um, and I, I, but I look back and I say, my gosh, if, if, you know, if I'm sitting there with a GCI of, you know, about a quarter million dollars and I'm looking back and 40% of it is attributed to probates, and I'm doing, mm -hmm. and I'm doing kind of a not a very, very good job. And I and I enjoy helping the people. That's more important to me. The money is secondary, in my opinion. I, when well, I that's help why you're being so out, successful. That, that's, it's an incredible feeling when I when I when I help them out, and they're so thankful at when it when it's yes, completed. Sir. So, so, so it, what would your best advice? Slow. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn you into a mentor here on the spot. So I'd like to hear your best advice to somebody who's been doing this for 30 days but they're getting discouraged and they're thinking about giving up. What's your best advice? Go back oh, in time three it's, years. It's like what gonna, would you, gonna, what would you say happen. to yourself? It's not going to happen in 30. It's not going to happen in 30 days. In my opinion, I mean, you could get lucky and, 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 and have it happen that way. It's just not going to, because the first 30 days the people have their head in the sand, they, they're, they're getting over their grief and you know, uh, it just depends on the situation. I've, I've had situations where there's a single person involved. I've had a situation where there was three to four uh, siblings involved in it. Or, you know, I've, mm -hmm. I've had to meet all three of them at a house. I had people coming in from California that said, here, I'm here to pick up this one piece of furniture, and I'm not coming back. 
So my goal for them was to get this done and they never have to come back. Handling yep. it from start to finish. So, so it just be they have to be patient though. It's, you know, uh, again, uh, uh, and I and I feel like the mailbox motivator is is an incredible and, and very very cost effective. And looking at the ISA, in my opinion, if 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 I can get two to three positive two to three appointments out of a hundred, it's worth it's worth it by far. I mean, it's just it's it's kind of an insane the the, the return on investment. So, you know, I'll ask a better to... question. Go ahead. What what would be your best piece of advice to yourself three years ago? Like, if there's something that would change this or made this better, like, what would you go back and tell yourself? It, it, probably to 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 realize that that that, that the art opportunities are growing daily as we all get older. And if I would have realized that three years ago, I'm looking back over all these leads. There's more than I would I would say. I wish I would have realized. I, I you know I. It, it was a it was a program that that we uh, that we came across at the end of our bold, one of our bold uh, you know bold classes, and I embraced it because I'm kind of in that baby boomer situation. So for the folks that are in my age group, obviously it's maybe a little easier. I don't know you know because we're older. Um, but if I I, I I would have probably just n nailed this down and, and been more diligent on following up with the phone calls and not and, and realize that you're going to get some. I had a lady the other day that that uh, that uh, she called me up after I got the letter and and called me a uh, you know a uh, uh, a heartless uh, scumbag. Um, and I tried to explain to her what what I'm doing here, and she, you know, and she just kind of hung up on me. You know, so you're going to get those calls. When you when you make those calls, it's going to happen. One out of you know a hundred. So, you know, you you can't count that one as being. Everybody doesn't feel that way. There are people that will need that do need our help, whether you know in in in, in many instances. And it's sometimes it takes a little while to get through each transaction because they maybe just they've just filed a probate. They got a house. They have and you have to work with them all the way through. It's, but get I think I. I, I already had kind of my, a lot of my stuff in place. In other words, I had I had an estate sale people already set up. I had repair people set up. I had investors already ready to come in and buy and make offers. So, it, that my advice would be to get all that get 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 your get your group together, and then uh, and then have and then have empathy with the whole idea. Of you're helping these people out, and don't just look at it as just making making money. The money will be there. But you, the biggest difference from where you started, where you were, I forget how you put it, but basically grinding through it to where you are now was just simply action, right? You just did what you knew you should have done, and then yes, you yeah, got the yeah. result you expected. Yep. And, and I actually, you know, yeah, if I look back at all the other initiatives that I've done as an agent to try to drum up business, this is absolutely the, the most rewarding uh, oh, in agree. a lot of different ways. And, you know, I can't I, – if I look back, I, I know – you know, I, I've I've double sided several of these transactions. Mm -hmm. Well, that's awesome. I appreciate you sharing and uh, and humoring me in my questions, Jim. I, I know you had something to ask. No, I was just going to congratulate you, and I was going to say what a refreshing uh, attitude you have. You know, we we the biggest mistake people make is they give up too soon or they have extremely unrealistic expectations. I talked to somebody a couple of days ago that called to complain because he made 300 calls and only got three listings. Wow. And, we, <laughs> and he was seriously annoyed. I said, I'm not sure, you know, I mean, you're not, this isn't printing money. It's, it's a incredibly valuable resource and it's a very unique lead source that very few people uh, work, but the, the key word is work, and so I just want to congratulate you on sticking with it long enough to get these results and having very realistic expectations going in. I think, it, and thirdly, the provide value first, man. You you really take that to heart. You know, you you do you do the right thing, and it comes back to you. So I don't I don't think anybody else should even try to compete for winner of the week. But you you never know. Maybe somebody else. That's that's a great story. We really really appreciate you sharing it. Chad, I think um, he he sounds like a great case study for you if he doesn't mind doing it, like a private interview. Uh, if you if you don't mind doing that with Chad sometime, and uh, Not at all. we'll share I, that. You know, with I, you. Yeah. I have I have I've done away with so many other programs. This one here is is the the one I'm I'm hanging my hat on because it does give me the most satisfaction. That is awesome, and I can't stand thank you enough.